I have always wanted to create my own world, like a book or a game or something. But why don't I just do it in Minecraft? If you've seen my builds, you might know that I focus on organics and terrain. And that's exactly why this is gonna be perfect for me. I'm gonna build large terrains and then I'm gonna put a bunch of organics into the world and that means I'll be creating my own biomes in my own style. If you're struggling with to understand my vision, listen up, let me try to explain what I mean. So what I'm imagining is that I put all these organics here and they won't make any sense because they would just be put in that. Oh, that was too boring for you? Let me show you what I mean instead. The way I'm thinking about doing this is like what I did in my last non-tutorial video when I pasted all my largest builds inside of one single terrain. And that's kind of how I'm imagining it. If I'm creating my own world with its own story, I need a place for the player to start at. I found a few cool inspiration picks, and I now know that I want to build a fish for the starting area. This is my fantasy world. I don't care if it's realistic or not, I do whatever I want, okay? Someone needs to explain the world to you when you start. My idea is that you get a quest from this fish. Let's call these big animals elders to help with the lore. The fish will give you the quest that you have to travel far and wide, you know, to do something. Okay, this is just a workshop. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. We'll figure out the story as we continue to build on the project. I'm using pictures of goldfishes for reference, so that's what I'm kinda going off. I never thought I would have to search up goldfish anatomy. First, I just want to get the main shape to be right, you know? I need to make sure the big shapes are good before I move down to the smaller shapes. At this stage, I'm feeling it. My confidence is high. You can tell my confidence is high just by looking at how many tries I did on this cow dolphin? C cow dolphin? Uh, whatever that name is. To be honest, the rest of the fins weren't really that much of a challenge, so I just speed ran them, and then it was all sunshine and rainbows. Okay, what if we make this goldfish the most famous goldfish in the whole world? But first, I need to know who really is the most famous goldfish. And it turns out, Chicken Steve is the most famous goldfish. I didn't actually think there was gonna be a most famous goldfish. And it also has 54 million views on TikTok. Um, maybe we can go for the second most famous goldfish? So if you want to help out to make this goldfish the second most famous goldfish in the world, you better hit that like button. Because for each like, I will pet my goldfish. The vision I had in my head was that the fish was inside of a cloudy landscape. And to help myself see this vision a little bit clearer, I added this small cloud around the fish. I mentioned earlier that there were gonna be these animals that were gonna be called elders. The thing that distinguishes the elders from the rest of the animals are the antlers. So if the player sees an animal that don't have the antlers, that animal won't be as important for the quest. And hopefully that will create less confusion when playing the map. I tried to experiment a little bit with like adding a little moustache for the fish, but it looks really awkward so I just scrapped the whole idea. Alright, I'm pretty happy with this. I like the shaping we have so far. In the reference picture there's a cloud behind the fish. And I kinda want to do that idea as well. And I think that's gonna make it more epic looking when you look at it from afar. I really didn't like the eyes of this fish. So to make it more cute and uh, friendly looking I moved the eyes downwards. 
I did some tiny edits to the clouds to make them feel like they were moving a little bit more. And then I moved on to the structures, my favorite part. I love structures. I made a few different variants that I could paste around. The first two I never actually used. Uh, maybe I should use them anyway, because I feel like I'm wasting builds. I can't waste time, you know? I wanted the player to be able to talk to the fish when they spawn. So the player needs a way to get to and from the fish. So my idea is that I create a, a little arch that you walk on to get up to the fish. And adding that arch in made the build pop, like completely. Before it was just a little fish in a cloud, but now it actually feels like a world. Then I could move on to the fun part, just pasting in all the little structures that I made earlier. And this part is actually really random, I just put stuff wherever I feel like putting them. I also felt like doing a little render for the build. I wanted to have a nice presentation, you know? And I'm not really a professional, so if you if you need tips on how to get good at rendering, I'm not the guy, because I'm like not that good. Alright, we are finally done. I'm actually super happy with how it turned out, especially with how it looks like it has movement. You see these, these little stones flying up in the air, and then these... The clouds, they have these particles everywhere. I'm I'm just in love. Actually, I'm so pleased how it turned out. I'm uh, blowing my own mind, you know? This is uh, amazing for my standards. And what's even better is that this is gonna be inside of a playable world. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the player spawn, like right here. Uh, but then you won't see the fish. Or the player starts down here, and they have to do all this. And the player has to do these incredibly difficult jumps in order to get up to the fish. Ooh, ooh. <coughs> if you didn't notice, I also gave it a hat. You know, it needs a little hat. It would suck though if the player just spawned right here and then accidentally like pressed W and then walked. <laughs> Walked off, blew into here, and then had to wait for like two hours before it hit the ground. I'm just gonna fix all the issues with the playability later. Right now, I'm just gonna focus on building so we actually have something to work with. This arch right here is gonna go into that direction, and uh, I'm not sure where it's gonna lead. Probably into some terrain. Maybe uh, maybe a little castle, maybe some ruins, I don't know. I have a bunch of ideas, uh, but I don't want to spill those out yet. But now, I'll see you after the cinematic. If you want to download this build, you can find it at my Patreon under the world tier. Every time I release a video making progress on the world, I will update the download file. I also want to thank all my Patreons, 
thanks to your donations i was able to buy a ring light which means i might start streaming soon but yeah thank you guys so much for supporting me and i'll see you in the next video